Hey everybody, it's your girl Charlotte Van Horn with Sisters Talking Natural Hair and Business, baby. And I told y'all I was finna start getting better with my podcast and starting to do more on YouTube. And so this is the first time that I am attempting to do that. So anyway, what I wanted to holler at y'all about today was um, how to ace your consultation. I want to take this time to speak directly to Sister Lock Consultant trainees, okay? Um, when you take your training it, and you come out of the training, a lot of time it's like, okay, what do I do next? Okay, so the first thing that you need to concentrate on is trying to get a client, right? So we're going to talk more about the consultation today, but what I do want to say about your getting a client is that if you can have a client before you go to training, someone that is willing to work with you and be your first client before you go to training, that is the best case scenario, okay? Um, and then when you get back from training, you want to make sure that you are practicing, you're practicing standing up, working your dolls, um, standing up, you are uh, giving yourself drills on the speed, you're doing the best you can with the party. The mannequins are like, really hard, you know, so just don't be too hard on yourself with the parting, but you know, you want to start practicing. So we can deal more with how to get your first client. Um, we can deal more with how to get your first client at another time. Of course, using a mentor or a coach who can provide you with a first client is the best case scenario too, because somebody who is certified or a brand ambassador can screen calls that come into them for work and say, okay, well, I got this um, trainee that I'm coaching and, and kind of in, um, kind of make the, the person relax about taking on a new person, a new trainee. Um, and then also an experienced consultant or brand ambassador, uh, certified consultant or brand ambassador can also kind of feel out the people that are calling for, um, you know, for the, um, for the for the for the trainee you know if it's somebody with a oh, hell of a lot of hair at 12 to 15 inches now you are not a first time trainee client and i would not be recommended that any trainees take on jobs like that initially so the first thing to do is so once you have established that client okay i want to talk to you about the consultation process and the consultation First of all, I want you to understand that the consultation is pretty much the only selling part of our business. And you might not think of it as that, but that's what it is. You know, you're bringing in your client and you need to make that impression. Okay, so I'm going to give you a few tips on how your consultation um, should go. So, first of all, practice. Find yourself a coach or find yourself um, a mentor or even somebody in your household that is willing to allow you to practice your consultation skills on them first. Do not do your first ever consultation out the box with a live potential client, okay? Because you wanna make sure that you're coming across as assured, you know, that you're reasonably studied, and that you know what you're talking about, okay? So you definitely don't want to um, not have any practice with that. So you want to practice, and you want your coach to um, give you a consultation, and then you give her a consultation. And then that way, you can pick up some things from her. Not everything. Let your consultation be your consultation, okay? You want to make sure that you hit all the right points, but you want to make sure that you bring yourself to the consultation. You know, you want to make sure that you tell the client a little bit about yourself, you know, when you meet and then just kind of, you know, ask them questions about themselves. Now, for me, I do a lot of talking to people before they actually come into my um, salon because, you know, you need to make sure that you can sense, use your best ability to sense whether or not that person is going to be a good fit. But after you've gone through all of that, and like I said, it's good to work with the mentor because um, more experienced people can kind of pick up things more, more easily. Like, for example, 
if I get somebody on the phone, I do coaching, of course, shameless plug. But when I get somebody on the phone that I'm considering as a client for one of my new coaching um, students, I look out for certain things. If it's somebody who I feel like gonna be diva-ish, you know, who is going to be extra critical um, of the work, who might be somebody that could be a little antsy, you know, that could make the, um, the, the trainee feel rushed or uncomfortable in any way, then they're not gonna be a good, that's not gonna be a good fit, okay? Um, so you just kinda try to, try to weed that out. So once you get the client in, Presentation, 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 okay? My recommendation is that, and you can't really see my logo and everything, I don't think, but um, my recommendation is to have something that, you, that have something on that says, yes, I'm a professional and I'm here to work right now. So whether it's a, a shirt with your own logo, um, an apron with your own logo, something with the Flying Lady Sister Locks logo on it, just let them see you and say, yeah, you know, she's ready. She's ready to do business. So that's going to be the first thing, the first thing that they see. Um, the other thing, before we get into the, the nuts and bolts of the consultation, the other thing that I want you to consider is how do your surroundings look? Okay, you want to make sure that, you know, go back and listen to my other podcast about how your shop needs to present. And I always forget one, but I'm going to try it anyway. The... Um, the sense of smell, the touch, the um, hearing, um, the sight, and it's always something I, I forget, but um, taste, you know, so the taste is like when you offer food or drink or something like that. You want to appeal to their um, senses, so make sure that you're covering all those, all those um, senses before they come in, okay, when they get in. The first thing you want to do, and I know that you want to know, but you're going to have to wait because <laughs> we need to take a quick commercial break and we will be right back. And I'm going to tell you the first thing that you need to do in your sister locks consultation. This is Charlotte Van Horn, Sisters Talking Natural Hair and Business. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs> 